Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be solving Cambridge IGCC Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for May June 2024, Variant 32. I'm going to solve the web page task. The spreadsheet is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So it starts from task 3. Create a new folder called J32. So this is my working folder. I'll create a new folder here. J32 Locate only the following files and store them in your J32 folder. So we have 8 files here. This has to be stored in the folder we created. So banner, contact, feed, giraffe, logo, text, web, So these are the files. You don't need this one. So these are the eight files. You need to move this into J32 folder. This contents of your J32 folder showing the folder name, all file names, file extension. File size, image dimension, and the frame height and frame width of the video. So, in order to show all the details, right click, view, choose the option content. So, it shows all the details. Now, you need to take a screenshot of this. Make sure the folder name is also selected. This is step 12. Step 12 evidence. You can paste it here. Next task create a web page called j32web.htm and save this in your folder. So for the web page authoring, I'm using Microsoft Expression Web. So open a new web page, go to new HTML. You need to save this as J32 web. So file, save as. J32, the name is j32 web save this web page must be created using a single table and work in all browsers the table must fit 75 percent of the browser window and it looks like this you can see there are five rows and two columns so go to table insert table five rows and two columns and the width must be 75 percent make sure this is percent give ok you need to merge the cells in row one modify merge cells then we have these three cells merged and the last two cells in this row merged. Let's name the cells so that it's easy to identify. Table borders must appear on the final web page. Each table cell is identified with a letter which must not appear in the final web page. So the border should be shown. So go to the code. We have table here. Just give border equal to 1. 
so that the border will be shown. Set the title of the web page to Giraffe Conservation. So, in order to set the title, right click Page Properties. In the title, you can give Giraffe Conservation. Give OK. So, that is shown in the code here. Next place in cell A, the image J32 banner.jpg. In cell A, insert picture. J32 banner. You can give the alternate text as banner image. In cell B, a video tag to display J32 feed.mp4 so that its width, so that it fits the width of the cell. This video must show the controls and play automatically when the web page opens. Display an automated text based error message. So in cell B, this is cell B, remove the letter. So let's go to the code. Now you can remove the letter B, press enter. So here we have to insert the code for the video. So video, type video tag. So you will get the closing tag. Now inside video, type the source tag, source. So inside source, you can give SRC equal to the video name. So that is J32feed.mp4. Then you have to give the type of the video. So type equal to video slash mp4. Let's give a, an error message. Your browser does not support this video. Now in the video tag, you have to make sure it fits the width of the cell. So width equal to 100%. And the controls should be shown. So you have to give controls here. Also, it should play automatically. So you need to give auto play. So this is the required code for the video. So it fits the width. We have given width equal to 100%. To show the controls, we have added the keyword controls and auto plays there for automatically playing and the error message is given. Now in cell C, we have to insert the image j32watt.jpg. So in cell C, let's insert the image. So this is what we do image. So give the alternate text as what we do. Give OK. In cell D, J32 contact dot JPG. Alternate text is contact us. Give OK. In cell E, the text web page edited by, then on a new line, enter your name, sender number, and candidate number. It should be set as style H3. So in cell E, on a new line, give your name, sender number, and candidate number. It should be set as H3. 
select the styles and select H3. Place in cell F the text from J3 to text.txt. So open this file. Select all the text. It should be pasted in cell F and it should be set to paragraph style. Cell F. Select the text and make sure it is paragraph. Make sure the paragraph tag is shown here. Attach the style sheet J3 to web.css. Do not edit this style sheet. So attach the style sheet. So J3 to web, open, okay. So the style sheet is attached. Make the image what.jpg a link to open the web page J3 to what.htm in a new window called black. So this is the image. So right click, hyperlink. You need to open the web page J3 to what? So select the web page here and it should open in a new window called blank. So go to target frame and make sure you select new window. So it will open in a new window called blank. Give OK. OK. So you can see the code here. The image. It will open in a new window called blank. And it links to what.htm. Make the image contact.jpg a link to an email editor to prepare an email to j.graph at cambridge.org with the subject line giraffe. So right click, go to hyperlink again. You need to choose email address here. So type the email address here and the subject line is giraffe. Give OK. So that is done. Save your web page. Take a copy of your HTML source and place this in your evidence document. So for the HTML source, click on code. You can see the source here. Select all, copy, and in your evidence document, this is step 20, HTML, source. You can paste the code here. Display your web page in your browser if necessary, resize it so that all the page can be seen. All text can be easily read. The address bar is fully visible. Take a screenshot of the web page. Let us view the web page in the browser. Go to File, Review in Browser. Choose your browser here. So this is the page. Now we have to make sure it fits on one single page. You can resize. Resize in such a way that it is visible properly. Zoom in. So this is fine. Now you can take the screenshot. This is step 20 evidence for web page. So we have finished the screenshot now. Task 5 is printing the evidence document. So this is our evidence document. This has to be printed. So this is the end of the web page task.
the spreadsheet task is already done. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.